What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and I just wanted to take a minute to do this quick little video and pose the question to everyone. I was, I was up here finishing up some paperwork and stuff for a uh, seminar with a church safety team that I have tomorrow. And someone had, had messaged me and asked me about the P365 and if I was going to be getting it and what I thought about it and stuff. And it, it kind of got me thinking because I, I get asked this a lot from a lot of people. and my question to you is are you spending more on guns or on training and I know this is probably gonna butt hurt some of you people out there and I apologize that's not my intentions just trying to get everybody thinking about what's going on in the world and, and are you have you put yourself in some type of training where it's putting you in some type of stressful situation and showing you how to use your gun shooting and moving and using cover and concealment reloads and clear malfunctions and offhand shooting and weak hand shoulder and strong hand shoulder and all this stuff you know it's great to to have the next gun believe me I, that's one gun i would love to add to my collection let's go through in here uh chris vector tavor you know i can sit here and go on and on and on about guns i want to add to my collection but i want to make sure i'm using what i have right now effectively and efficiently and that's that's what everybody should be doing you know if you can go and spend money on guns and training great wonderful go for it but if you've got to sit down and say okay i want this gun or what about why don't i go and get a little training with what i currently have and learn how to master that because a lot of those skills and fundamentals will carry over into just about any gun so why not invest in some training before you go and invest in that new gun? Believe me, there's, like I said, there's a lot of guns I want to add to my collection, but when I get the money to go and buy that gun, trust me, there's a lot of other training I want to do myself personally to just become more effectively and efficiently with using my firearms. So don't just think you've got to... Having 40, 50, 100 guns doesn't make you an expert i'm sorry it doesn't you know now if you're going out and you're using some of those guns and you're training with them and you're practicing with them that's great but if you're just buying the next gun buying the next gun oh here's this gun i'm gonna go buy it but you're not doing any practice or any training with it what's the purpose so i kind of hope this is you know made everybody think a little bit and I'm not doing this to try to scare anybody into coming and taking classes. If you come and take classes from us, that's great. That's why we do this. We want to help you learn more about firearms and feel more comfortable with firearms and know that you can handle your weapon effectively and efficiently. So if it's not us, go to somewhere. Get some type of training outside of a CWP. I'm sorry, but a CWP is not training. A CWP is teaching you the laws of carrying your weapon concealed and really what you can and can't do. But it's that's not the type of training I'm talking about. I'm sorry, but that's not it. If I piss you off or make you mad, I apologize, but CWP training is not enough. You need to do more than just CWP training. So again, I hope this has kind of opened everybody's eyes and made you think a little bit. And hopefully, you know, I'll see you in one of the classes one day. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.